Hello guys and welcome back to another video of me, that Indian guy. First of all, I want to apologize for this long gap between videos. I have my midterm exams going on, also how to write papers for my rhetoric class. All this while, it makes it very difficult for me to take time out for vlogging and making these informative videos. But no matter what, I try my best to keep uploading videos regardless of my busy schedule. So anyways, coming to the topic of today's video, how to get used to American units of measurement. And by American units, I mean units like Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, ounces instead of kilos, gallons in and fluid ounces instead of liters and so on. While this video may not be that helpful while you watch it while you are still in your home country, but trust me, it will make a lot more sense once you are actually moved to the US. America is one of those few countries who do not follow the metric system and while you can keep fighting day and night, they are not going to change the units of, to like standard units anytime soon. So it's better that you adapt yourself quickly to these American units and make your life a lot more easier. Now let me make the main idea of the whole video clear right now itself. The easiest way to adapt to the new measurement units is by feeling those measurement units. Before it starts to sound creepy, let me explain you what do I mean by feeling a measurement unit. Talking about distances and speed, Americans use miles instead of kilometers. Now the standard mile to kilometer conversion is 1 mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers approximately. Now you can look at the speedometer of your car and try to convert miles per hour to kilometers per hour every time by multiplying it by 1.6. But if you truly want to learn to adapt to the new unit, start to get a feel of how fast 40 miles per hour feels without even thinking about its kilometer equivalent. Try to get an idea as to how much faster 60 miles per hour is than 40 miles and so on. When you actually start traveling at different speeds in miles per hour without even once thinking about kilometer per hour equivalent, your mind slowly starts learning and adapting to this new unit. It's like you're born again and trying to learn everything from scratch. Keeping this mindset will make it a lot more easier for you and you will only take a few weeks rather than the many months that it takes to naturally adapt to the new metrics. Let's talk about liquids now. The unit I use back home were liters and milliliters but here everyone just uses gallons and fluid ounces. Gallon being a bigger unit will be mostly helpful for people who drive because you can start noting how many gallons you fill in your car and how many miles you can travel with that many gallons. As I do not drive a car over here, I'm still getting used to gallons but over the time it was easy to get used to fluid ounces. If you go to a fast food joint over here, the drinks comes in 3 sizes. Small, that is 16 ounces. Medium, that is 20 ounces. Large, that is 24 ounces. Now the easiest way to know how much 16 ounces measures is to actually go to McDonald's and buy a 16 ounce glass of Dr. Pepper or Coke and drink it. And then feel, how full do you feel after drinking 16 ounces? Next time, go for 20 ounces and then go for 24 ounces and try to compare all the experiences with each other. This will give you a better understanding of the unit fluid ounce. So next time when for example, you wanna buy a four ounce Coke of can, you would already know how much that's gonna fill you up without even converting it into milliliters. Now coming to the most interesting and most difficult unit to adapt, the Fahrenheit. By far, all units we measured had a linear conversion scale. That is, kilometers is equal to miles times something, or gallons is equal to liters times something. But Celsius to Fahrenheit has a strange formula where you have to add 30 degrees in the end, which leads to all the confusion. There is no straight conversion scale, so both the temperature scales are not proportional. This leads to an eccentric temperature value such as minus 40 degrees Celsius equal to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius equal to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius equal to 212 degrees Fahrenheit and so on. Now my whole point of actually feeling the unit to understand it has the biggest application over here. Now first step to adapting to Fahrenheit is to go to the weather app of your phone and changing the unit to degrees Fahrenheit and no matter what happens for at least a month, do not turn it back to Celsius or try to know what Celsius temperature it is. Then comes the main part, every three hours, go outside. Feel the weather, feel how cold or hot it is and then check the temperature in Fahrenheit. Make sure it's Fahrenheit and not Celsius. Try to get a feeling of how cold 40 degrees is and how much colder 40 degrees is than 50 degrees. Repeat this every 3 hours because you will definitely find a change in temperature by then and try to get an understanding of all different ranges of temperature. This by far will take the most time to get used to and may sound ridiculous to you but trust me by forcing myself to go out every 3 hours and checking the temperature was the easiest way I could understand the new scale and now after doing this for a month I can at least say that I have a fair understanding of the cold temperatures like from 30s to 70s and during the summer by repeating the same process I'll get an idea of the whole scale. This method has been personally tried out by me and is very effective if followed with trust and diligence. Don't expect it to work overnight. 
you are going to need at least two to three weeks before you can get a fair amount of understanding and be patient. Give it time because ultimately you are saving yourself from the pain which you would otherwise suffer for a year if you would have naturally let it happen. So here we are guys at the end of this video. See, even if you do not implement this video into your life, you will still adapt to the new units eventually. But that eventually may take a lot of time. And trust me, it makes it a lot more easier to have a conversation with an American when you can understand the units properly in the same way as they do. Also talking about having conversation with American, talking about weather is the easiest way to start a conversation with a stranger who is next in line to you or sitting next to you in a bus. But unless you really adapt to Fahrenheit, you cannot keep taking pauses in the conversation to keep converting Fahrenheit temperatures to Celsius just to understand what the American person meant. Guys, before I end this video, I have a special announcement. As many of you might have noticed, unlike almost every other YouTube videos, you don't see any advertisements before watching my videos. This is because I have turned Google AdSense off because I don't want advertisements to discourage people from gaining information from my videos. So this ultimately means that even though I have more than 200,000 views on my channel, I don't earn a single dollar out of it. All this while I have been shooting videos with my cell phone and have been editing them using free software such as iMovie or Movie Maker. After receiving so many requests, I think it's time for me to upgrade my gear. Since long, I have been wanting to buy proper shooting gear but unlike other YouTubers who use their advertisement earnings to upgrade, I am unable to do the same. I want my videos to be of higher quality so that I can give my viewers a better view into my life here and so that they can also hear me and understand me more clearly. The gear I'm wanting to buy is as follows. Canon Rebel T5i which goes for $600, Canon 24mm Prime Lens which goes for $150, Rode External Video Microphone which goes for $150, Miscellaneous Camera Gear such as Tripods etc which goes for $100. Total $1000. So today I'm launching my GoFundMe campaign. GoFundMe is a website like Kickstarter where small contributions can make a big difference. So if you guys find my videos even a little bit useful, Go ahead, click in the link in the description below and fund my campaign. The funding can be as small as $1 because even if 1000 out of my 6000 subscribers do this, I will be effectively able to reach my goal of $1000. Also even if the campaign reaches its goal of $1000, do not stop. I can use the extra funding to do GRE and TOEFL books and online prep courses giveaway. Also, share this post all over social media so that more and more people come to know about this. Thank you so much to all of you for your support. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to like this video on YouTube as it really helps the channel. Also, subscribe to me on YouTube because I make a lot of amazing videos pertaining to international students in the US right from what to pack to today's video of how to get used to American units. Feel free to drop any question below in the comment section of the video. But if you want immediate replies to your question, send me a tweet or send me a message on Snapchat. My Snapchat and my Twitter ID is thatindianguy18. Also as I mentioned in my previous video, I do use Instagram. My Instagram ID is also thatindianguy18. Thank you so much for being part of this video. Have a nice day.